Hello Divi Nation, hey, it's Andrew Palmer from Elegant Marketplace here and Sean Barton, a plugin developer of some repute. Uh, Sean's got a new plugin and we're just going to give a very, very quick overview. So hi Sean, what have we got? Hi, uh, well yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, we've got a new plugin, I sort of um, leaked it, let's say, to the community a couple of days ago, um, but for those who didn't see that, uh, the plugin is called Divi Display Logic. And don't worry, it's nothing which will be uh, too complicated. Um, well, we'll kind of go over it over the course of this call, but um, <clears throat> uh, it's basically a plugin that's going to allow you to um, show, hide, uh, edit, I suppose, uh, but mainly show and hide content based on a number of, um, uh, of conditions, basically. Um, so we've got things like whether they're logged in or out, which is the obvious ones. Uh, what role they've got, what capabilities they have. Um, I've um, added in the factor of time. Uh, so you can time sections, modules, and rows of any type to uh, show and hide at set times of the day, set days of the week, um, between two dates. Thanks for that idea, Andy. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Um, there we go. <laughs> and, um, but Always yeah, good to work together on these things. Indeed, yeah, it, it was an obvious extension to a, to the the plugin that I'd uh, uh, I'd written for sort of logged in, logged out status, and uh, um, basically uh, what it does in short is allows you to uh, use short codes in conjunction with um, uh, with Divi elements. However, that is a very very basic uh, sort of example of what it is. I mean, you don't have to know what short codes are. You don't have to know how they work because basically what I've done is created a list of so far something like 20 different conditions um, as examples um, so that you can show and or hide uh, the content using one or many filters. Uh, so you could say for logged in people only uh, at a certain time of day, today for instance, we will reveal uh, a new offer on the website or and we'll hide it again tomorrow and that can be automatic. Um, so marketing campaigns can be um, entirely streamlined and automated um, without the need to to have to sort of sit up at three o'clock in the morning or midnight or whatever and press publish on a new page. Um, right, good. Let me just stop you there because uh, with short times, so obviously you're in the car and I've got to run off to a meeting and then edit this video and load the product. So basically, uh, show us what it does. And I saw in the Facebook post yesterday in the comments that somebody said it would be ideal for restaurants if they want to show a breakfast menu or breakfast opening times between certain times on the website, uh, lunch, dinner, etc. And you can show and hide, but it doesn't show and hide on the basis of CSS. So tell us how that happens. Why no, you no. share your screen? It, it doesn't at all. No, um, it, it completely removes the the markup or the HTML code from the the, uh, the screen at server level. Which means uh, if you're using this for um, a product release or you wanted a um, let's say you've got a selection of sliders that you want to show across, you know, maybe different parts of the day or different parts of the week or whatever, um, it would simply not show. Um, let's say you've got seven sliders. It would show it would only show one on the screen so you're not having to load in six seven sliders worth of images and logic and everything else um which could obviously slow down your site the more that you start piling it on um uh, it, it actually it only adds the one it needs to uh, and then loads it so as far as the screen or the the the, the, uh, the page is concerned there is only one slider on that page. The restaurant example, I have to say, it was it was absolutely fantastic. I mean, what a great idea. So for um, restaurants that have got a breakfast menu, a lunch menu, and an evening menu, um, have, you know, the homepage, you know, the, the, the page which has the, the biggest amount of real estate that you want to work with, um, have it sort of changing on an hourly basis based on what the context of the day is. Um, Likewise, things like membership websites, you know, think about it. If you're wanting to show a bunch of sign up now type marketing material on the homepage, um, but when someone's logged in or, or someone's signed up, let's say, as a certain role, let's say you don't necessarily want to have to um, 
say sign up now because they have signed up now so you want to show them more more exciting information like you know premium articles and things that they've paid for uh, and again all that is not using css and therefore it is completely secure um we've got um i've just added this morning uh I, I, the basic concept of geolocation as well so if you wanted certain offers for example only to be available to people in the states or the uk excluding everywhere else then um that actually um, will work as well. It does work on a city level um, as well, um, but uh, as with anything, geolocation is always going to be a bit funny, so I, will, I wouldn't really rely on that too much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fabulous plugin. It's um, uh, I, a share screen then. Yeah, I'll show you how it works. So, um, one sec, let's we'll suss out this system here. Uh, Chrome, that's my desktop, that's pretty easy. Right, can you see my screen? Uh, we can see your screen. Ah, yes, we, <laughs> hopefully. There we go. Right, so we have just a standard back-end Divi Builder page. It's where I sort of live and breathe when it comes to my plugins. And uh, here you can see just there's a, a page where I've created, here's what I created earlier, um, for uh, the test. Now, we have three sections, each containing a text module, as you can see. Um, the text modules differ only because they're full of lipsum and just the first few words are everyone's going to see this. Next one down is logged in's going to see this. And the next one down is, can you guess it? Logged out is going to see this. Now, the way that this logic works is it will, at section, row, or module level, automatically add a new um, block of controls. Now, I've tried to make it as user friendly as possible, but as with anything like this, we are talking about logic. So, I've tried to make it easy, but please do get in touch with me if you think that I can make it any easier. I've included all the documentation and notes in it. So let's edit the section for now. Now I've added the background and uh, just, just to make it sort of visually appealing. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see a section called Display Logic. Now, there's lots of writing there, but you don't really need to worry too much about the writing. Uh, once you know how to use the plugin, you'll just fly through it. Now, um, there's detailed notes if you click on this button here and it'll slide out. So there's loads of different examples here um, telling you basically what's going to happen with an actual example and the short code that you can use. So what you can do is copy that short code out and paste it straight into this logic short code box at the bottom. That's where the pl this plugin sort of meat is. Um, it will use these short codes and the sort of arguments that are attached to the short codes to control the content. But you can add your own short codes. That's, that's one thing I'm really kind of um, trying to make this really clear. I've added it's DSS content um, and I've added, you know, so it's some, if you look at some of these examples here, hide role, show capability, countries, custom filters and things if you wanted to mess around with PHP. Um, further up, you've got days of the week, taxonomies. Um, there's just loads there. I've done as many as I can think of and I will add loads more. Um, but that is for people who like short code and to like get into the nitty gritty of things. Actually, if we pop down here to the um, predefined logic box, let's forget the date section for the time being, we can click in here and every one of those examples is in that box already. Now, the wording is, well, this is quite large, but you'll get to know the ones that you like to use. So show this content only for logged in or logged out. Now, um, you just press logged in or logged out. So we click on logged in, it will actually change this section here. If we change that to logged out, there you go. The short code actually changes. Change it to, I don't know, categories. There you go. We'll change it to custom filters. There you go. It, it changes it straight away. So, yes, it is building a short code for you. You don't have to even worry about that. So, if I change that back now, I think this is a logged out one, isn't it? So, um, the bottom one is logged out only. Logged in hide. So, it must be the middle one I edited. There you go. Logged in show. Okay, maybe I didn't. Or oh, just the first one. I forget that. Never mind. Doesn't matter. That's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and view this page now. So the, remember, the top one is everyone sees it. Second one is logged in, see it. Second one is logged out, see it. I think let's have a view. Let's get rid of those changes there. So on the front end, I'm logged in as an admin to my own little local site. The first section, everyone sees this. We're seeing it. Second one, logged in, sees it. Now. Let's copy this URL and go to a incognito or logged out or whatever and paste in the same URL. What we're going to see now is everyone sees this and logged out sees this. So there you go. Very, very basic example for um, the page changing 
based on just selecting from a drop down there. And no, remember that could be a slider. It could be, I don't know, it could be anything you wanted it to be really. It could be a timer. I mean, it's ideal when you've got a timer. Yes. Uh, and yeah. then you say you put up a, a, a form to appear when that timer ends and you hide that timer. Or you can leave the timer up, it doesn't matter to you. But, you know, yeah. it would be great to hide that timer and then just have this form appear at that particular time. So, well, you, got, so it, I mean, I think this is particularly valid for people in the learning area you know because there's always some scarcity around you know this isn't available until such and such a time uh, then it's going to be closed down when you want to stop people signing up you can put up an auto close um it's great i, I think it's fantastic well here's a, here's a great example you say it's good for the learning environment actually i think it's great for people who run shops as well um oh, yeah. think about, if you're using a plugin like Wu layout injector um uh, not trying to plug the own plugins here but why not um, use a plugin like Woo Layout Injector in the Divi library. You go ahead and create your, um, let's say, single product page, which is one template that's used universally. Um, you can then use this same logic to, let's say, hide the prices for logged out. Or you can, um, yeah, let's say, for um, our own site, Elegant Marketplace, or your own site rather, um, where, let's say on a product page, when somebody is logged out, then maybe they'll see pre sales questions or comments. But when they're logged in, they might see user documentation and guides, um, you know, logged in or has purchased or, you know, remember, you can write your own um, filters for this in the PHP. Um, also, I've made it so that you can, um, again, if you know PHP, you can add your own um, filters to this predefined logic drop down. So if it's show if you have purchased WooCommerce product, or I might even add that myself, um, then you just choose from the drop down and off you go. So we can show documentation to those people who are logged in, but show marketing copy for products for those who are logged out or do product launches. You know, we could say, yeah, this product is, is um, product is coming soon. Here's the screenshots and the documentation, everything else. Um, but the buy button might be obscured until a certain time of day. Or Perfect. Yeah. Well. I, I, did I can want... go on all day and shall. <laughs> I know. I did. <laughs> and you've got a low battery and you're in your car and I've got to go to meet. So we're okay. <laughs> the, the key is, is that I did actually want to have a look at if you're using um, times or something or dates. If you just pop pop into uh, that text module and just click on that time and date thing, because there's actually quite a handy thing. And what a lot yeah. of people don't realize is that your server may not be your real time. It may yeah, be sure. somewhere else. So that's a good way of checking what time your server is on. And this well, let, me, let me show you this then. So now if I go down to my, <clears throat> there's just a section. Um, but likewise, it could be the row or the module, doesn't really matter. Um, I like it on sections. I, I find it easier to, uh, to think in terms of sections, but whatever. But if you're clicking on show uh, the dates, uh, show and hide the dates here, it's going to say we need to select our date and time and then choose our predefined logic from this list, anything with time in the name, preferably. Um, yeah. Now, time can be added to anything. You can have logged out and on a certain time, logged in and on a certain time. So it's we're not limiting ourselves by just having oh, we'll show it on this day, but then forget the rest of the logic. So again, you will have to edit the short code down here for that. But hopefully when you've had a quick look through the, uh, the documentation, you know, inbuilt, just this click here, um, you'll, you'll understand what's going on. I've actually given some examples as well. So this date here, so you click on the show date, a little date time picker comes up. So we might say the 19th of July, and we'll say, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning. What's uh, relevant here, Sean, is that actually your server is showing 10.05. And mm. it's actually in the UK, it's 11.08 at the moment. So they're using a different time. Well, actually, it's um, this, this server is my local, so my own computer. Um, so the server time uh, is, uh, is, is 10.05. But, but yeah, it is, there is always going to be a slight discrepancy between you know, the time in the country you happen to be in. When you, exactly. I mean, think if you set up the, um, uh, the yeah, show and hide, you know, let's say if you're on holiday and you think, oh, well, I'll just launch a new product and you're in a foreign country, different time. You then get home, the time's change. So that's, that's not a constant, whereas the server is always going to be in the same place. So yeah. we may introduce a setting in the future to have it using UTC. Um, but basically, if you want your server time to be in a specific time zone, just change it. Get in touch with your host and say, hey, can we change our time zone of our server, please? It won't affect anything else. Uh, and that time will now show something which you're more happy with. But ultimately, 10.05 um, is the time on the server. 
So if I say, well, actually, I mean, and then my local time is, let's say, 11.10 or 11, 11.05. So we're, the server is an hour behind what I am now. So if yeah. I want to launch something at, um, in an hour's time, I'll, I'll do it at 11.05 rather than 12.05. Sure. Uh, so, it's, you know, obviously, you know, <laughs> hopefully but, you know, a lot of people will be um, un- able to understand that. But um, I'll, I'll have a little bit. That's why I've sort of liberally sprinkled your time is this so people can tell Yeah, and that's fine. I mean, I think that's, that's fine to leave that exactly where it is. And that's why I wanted to highlight it is that server times, mm. you know, you may, have, you may be a .co.uk um, uh, mm. business in the UK, uh, but you may be hosting on Flywheel or WP Engine or something like that. So, and, and it will be a stateside server. So yeah. your server time, if you haven't uh, adjusted it within WordPress as well in general settings, because that's how you can change your server time as well or your website time, uh, then you would have to make sure that you are calculating the right amount of hours depending on the time zone that you want that uh, data to be shown. So that's yeah, I think we're over egging. It's that not that complicated. It should be quite. I'll just lock myself out here. It should be quite reasonable, to be honest. Um, but um, just just to show you here, um, what I've done on the screen that I'm on now is I've I've edited the show and the high dates to um, well, just a couple of random dates I picked, to be honest. I then chose from the predefined logic dropdown show and high between certain times. Um, we've also got show and high content at certain times with so its default hidden and then launch day. You're showing everything, so it's a set and forget kind of thing. Then you yeah. do that. And as soon as you choose that predefined logic thing to set which rule you want, the short code is generated. And then when you press save, that's it. It's done. Now, hopefully, if I now go ahead and look at the front end, I, I forget what dates I've chosen. I've well, even chosen one in the past. I should now be able to go and view it and not hopefully see that section. There you go. So the yeah. everyone sees this section is now gone because I've actually set it to show on the 20 something of July. Which of course is, is not yet. It's the seventeenth of July. Of so, uh, you know, yeah. All right. Awesome. I think that's about it. I think that's yeah. we've, we've done it. So you've done, you've built a plugin, uh, uh-huh. short code yeah. driven. You can actually, when you look at the short codes, you can kind of work out what kind of short code you want in there. So it's kind of just something that we wanted. So thanks, Sean. That's really great, and it's another diamond plugin, and. Uh, that's it. What, can, what else can I say? I'm still blown away by it. I'm glad you put the timing issue in it. That was important to me because we've got some learning stuff going on. And just everybody in the community, I hope you enjoy this plugin. There will be an offer on it. So watch your email inbox. And if you haven't signed up to the elegantmarketplace.com uh, mailing list, do so today and you'll get a nice little voucher offer on this particular plugin. Once again, thanks, Sean. You're great. And I'll speak to you later. Thanks. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.